in this lesson we're going to be setting up the pass dashboard this lesson is not important at the same time it is important for me because so if you look at the records here you can see that these are just raw json files and it's not pretty to look at so we need a better way to view our records imagine we have a thousand records do we want to scroll through a thousand records in this way no so that's why pass has something called the pass dashboard uh, this link is also going to be in the resources so if you look at the pass dashboard here you can see that it looks uh, really pretty you can see that inside your browser and you can navigate your records better so let's set that up at the moment uh, what we need to do the first thing we need to do is because in order to install the pass dashboard you need to run this terminal command npm install minus g pass dashboard however to have the npm code run you need to install node.js first most of the setup that we're doing in these lessons they are just one time you're not going to do that every time you want to set up uh, pass server for your new app so don't worry about it these are just one time setup so don't stress so what you want to do is go, go to node.js.org and you want to download this one for, that says recommended for most users so i'm going to download this one even though i have it installed already but you know let me just do it again so it's going to it said this package we installed node.js and npm so that's why we're doing this we need we need that npm command so let's install agree installed it for this user install it's gonna ask for your password put your password and so it's installed the npm library for us close it's going to ask if you want to move the installer to uh, trash yes because we already finished installation we can close that one so let's go back to the pass dashboard and see what the next thing is so once we you have that actually we haven't installed it let's copy this terminal co code because we need to install the pass dashboard but we need the npm so we just installed the npm now let's install pass dashboard to do that press the command space for spotlight search and then type terminal to find your terminal and then here we want to paste this code that we just copied npm install minus g pass dashboard if you do that it's going to start installing once you press enter however you might get an error like i just did and the reason is because i'm not running it as an administrator that's why it says here try running this command as a root so what you want to do is you want to type sudo first sudo always means you want to run as an admin so type sudo and then paste the code press enter and it's going to ask you for your password and this time you should install successfully as you can see we don't have no error because it's here here sudo and it just install everything and we are now have pass dashboard 1.1.0 so pass dashboard installed so let's look at the next step on the screen so now we need to configure a file we need to create a file which is just going to be a json file and here it says this file is going to be called pass dashboard config.json and it has to contain all this information so let's copy this little information here copy it open your spotlight search again by pressing command space and then search uh, text edit okay now we have a new text file text edit so i'm going to paste that code you can see that we need to modify some information like our server url the app id the master key and the app name and we already have that so i'm going to go to my iroko server settings i'm going to copy my app id i'm going to paste it where it say app id i'm going to copy the master key I'm going to paste it where it says master key and my app name you can call it anything I'm going to call this basic Twitter pay attention to something very important you can see that the double quote here is slightly bendy whereas this one is straight if you're familiar with JSON file you should know that you should never have this crazy quote because uh, the reason is because when I start modifying things then the double quotes go funny so what I'll do is I'll copy this one and I'll paste it to replace the bendy one. 
because your JSON file is not going to run if you have any bendy um, double quotes. And the last thing that we need is the server URL. So I'm going to copy from here. I'm going to paste it here, server URL. So I'm going to save this file. And where should we save? Let's save it on the desktop and let's just call it um, the name that we are required to call it pass so pass dashboard config.json so i'm going to paste that here and i'm going to click on save he said if no extension is provided use .txt but because we already provided an extension it's not going to use .txt and, and that is very important don't make sure that it doesn't save it as .json.txt.txt because if it does that then it's not going to work obviously so i can go to my dash uh, desktop let's go to desktop and see what we've just done so my desktop and this is the one does it save it as just json it doesn't and so let's do that just json okay so now we have dot json file saved on our desktop okay so what's the next step if you want to now start the dashboard you need to now run this code this particular one that's what it says here you can then start the dashboard using this code copy it and then go back to the terminal and then you paste that code if you paste that code it's probably going to say your config file is missing because we're not on the desktop remember we save it on the desktop you need to run the command line from the directory where the file is saved so i'm going to cd into my desktop because where i saved it and then i'm going to paste that code again that code is i mean i always remember to run it. i mean just memorize it it's pass dashboard pass hyphen dashboard hyphen hyphen config then the name of your file pass dashboard config.json press enter and it's going to say the dashboard is now available at this url so this url if you copy it and paste it into your browser or you just type uh, localhost uh, colon 4040 in your browser you can see it takes us directly there so now you see now we have a very beautiful pass dashboard and if we click on the basic twitter app we can see that we have the role the user and people look at that look how beautiful this one is in in a tabular form we can even create a new record look at that i can create a new record by clicking on add row let's click on add row and I can say first name is uh, Peter, last name is Peter Black, and his age is uh, 40. See that we can add extra records to, even though I had it directly here, if I go to M MLab and refresh, we should have the one that we just added now, Peter, and it's Black, and it's age 40. So. You see that we have a very beautiful pass dashboard here instead of using this horrible looking JSON format that we have here. And if I should delete a record, let me delete um, Diodus. We have two. If I click on that one, delete. Now we have four records. If I go to pass dashboard and click on refresh at the top here, we have four records. So both of them are now connected. So we're never going to look at this horrible looking MLab interface anymore from now on from whenever we write a code on the ios xcode project we're going to be looking into this beautiful pass dashboard so go ahead set up your pass dashboard like i said all of the things i've done here are just one time setup you don't have to repeat all of them all over again every time you want to create a new uh, pass app so do them take your time and i'll see you in the next one thank you